Hey, I'm ABC 10 News reporter Adam Campos in San Ysidro. The IBWC just started a new project down here at the Tijuana River to try and clean the river. They're using tiny ozone bubbles as a way to knock out some of the chemicals that are inside. But Dr. Kimberly Prather from UCSD says the project might not go how they are expecting it to. Doing it for the first time where people are living and breathing the air is, in my, in my view, it's, it's reckless. Dr. Prather explained this to me in simple terms. The bubbles use ozone, a highly reactive gas. She says it could help clean the river, but when the bubbles pop, that gas gets released into the air. And that's where she feels this project could go wrong because it could put more people in the South Bay at risk. And I reached out to County Supervisor Paloma Aguirre, who has been outspoken about this issue for years. And she told me she just found out about the project and sent a letter to the IBWC asking them to pause it until they can find out more about the potential impact. Any efforts to clean the water are good, it's positive, but we shouldn't be doing experiments uh, with the potential of impacting the working families of District 1. The IBWC sent us a statement saying this technology has the potential to reduce the exposure of Americans to Mexican sewage by killing bacteria and reducing hydrogen sulfide levels. They added they're evaluating new tech to help protect public health. The IBWC says this project is going to last about 60 days, so we're going to continue to follow it as it moves forward. For now, in San Ysidro, Adam Campos, ABC 10 News.